We're talking about Rad Disney races and if they are worth it or not. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things. And today we are going to talk about Rad Disney races and if they are worth the price tag or not. These are not cheap races, you guys. They cost you a good buck and a half. So we're going to analyze why they are worth the price tag and why they're not. So I was thinking about just giving you my personal opinion, but there's plenty of videos out there with people's personal opinions. So I decided to go on social media and ask through all my different channels what you guys think about Brand Disney races. I wanted to ask you if you think they are worth it or not. And if you're interested in answering that question right now, you can post in the comments below. I'm really curious to read your answers. So before we get into your answers, I wanted to give you a brief overview of why I signed up for a Run Disney race myself. So I've been running five years. I am quite a competitive runner. I'm not super fast, but I'm still trying to get to complete a race in faster times. I would love to qualify for Boston. And what drew me to run Disney races, specifically the marathon, was how much good vibes these race has. Everybody seems to really like run Disney races. So I figured I might as well try it myself and see what these races are about. Now, I was genuinely thinking, hoping, expecting to not like them as much as other people just because I have a son to put through college and these races are really expensive. I mean, I live in the Northeast, I have to get myself to Orlando, Florida, pay for a hotel room, pay for the flight, and then also obviously pay for the races. And on top of all that, people usually run these races with a costume, so you have to factor that in, that you're gonna have to buy a costume or at least put one together if you have the time and you're a little crafty, which I think I'm super, super crafty. So just to put things in a little bit of perspective, they raise entry for just the marathon alone with almost $300. Then you have to pay for the flight, which could run you, depending on which airline you choose and which airport you're able to fly out of. It could run you another $200. And then you have to factor in the hotel. Now for these races, the best option is to stay on property. If you stay on property, then you don't get to ride the bus to the start of the races and that adds a whole other potential for things to go wrong because the roads tend to be blocked early on in the morning. So the races are run around Disney property and they can do whatever they want with the roads, obviously. So they block them up and they make it hard for you to get there to the start of the race if you're not doing it on Disney transportation. So the best option is always to get a hotel room on Disney property and that's gonna cost at least $300 a night. So everything adds up. Now, the bling you get is absolutely amazing. This is the medal I got from the marathon and it turns around, it has Mickey on this side and then Minnie on this one. But these medals are second to none. I mean, they are so pretty always every single year. They're just like phenomenal, phenomenal medals. They're like really nice quality. They're heavy, they're big. They're just really pretty, really well done in design. So for context, this is the one I got for New York City Marathon. It's a really pretty medal as well, but it's just a lot more streamlined. You always get a bag of goodies at the end. Now for the marathon this year, they gave this thing. I'm gonna show it to you. For some reason, I see people wearing this and it looks much better on other people than it looks on myself. But let's go full full mode, Miki, okay? Let's just do it the right way. Okay, so we're gonna continue the video with these on. So to me, the Disney Marathon was something I've always wanted to do. It was one of those bucket list items. I really wanted to cross it off of my list, get it done, and potentially never do it again. So you're gonna have to wait for the end to see if I think these races are worth it, in my opinion, or not. What ended up happening is that we made a girls weekend out of it, which was really added to the experience of the event. 
I am sure I would have had a lot of fun as well if I had run, let's say, Pirates Marathon and I had stayed with friends in a hotel and that whole experience and going out to dinner and maybe going to a museum and Pirates or... Things like that, that all adds to the experience and I think that's part of what Disney sells here. They're selling the fact that this is not only a race that you drive to that's local, it might be local to you, yes, but it's typically not a race that you drive to, run your race and then go back home. You make a whole weekend out of it. You stay with friends, you stay with family, and that's really what makes it special, in my opinion. Now, the atmosphere is great. It's great that you get to run through the Disney parks and you get to see them from a different point of view. You do a lot of the backstage. So you see a lot that you wouldn't otherwise see if it wasn't because you're running the race. Yes, but I think what makes it different to me is just the possibility of just making it a runcation, just going to the parks as well and having nice dinners and just spending time with friends. Basically not sleeping at all for the time you're there. Now I think we're gonna take this off. Okay, how oh, does my hair look? What happened when I asked you guys what made it special to you? Why is Run Disney worth it and why is not worth it? The comment that appeared the most is the fact that they're very crowded races and that people go slow in general. I mean, of course, there's faster runners like in any other race, but there's a lot of people who run, walk the races. Now that was mentioned by a lot of people as a positive thing. The fact that they are not competitive and they're very inclusive and mentioned by other people as a negative because they're crowded. There's a lot of people stopping to take pictures along the course. Um, so if that's not a thing that you're going to want to do, stop and take pictures like they are, this probably is not a race that you should run. There's also someone who mentioned people tend to lie about their times when they're running Disney, which I guess people could lie about their running times in any other race, not only run Disney, but that's why you can actually, if you have their names, you can go check it. So I don't know, I guess they would be lying. Yes, but what's the purpose of that? Many of you guys said that they are not worth it if you're looking just to run a race. So there are many comments around that. They're not worth the price if you're not going to enjoy the characters, stopping to get pictures with them, dressing up yourself in a costume, enjoying running through the park and the whole atmosphere of Disney, then they're not worth the price. A lot of people mentioned the camaraderie of Grand Disney events, how they met some of their best friends through Grand Disney, um, which is really interesting because I don't know that I have heard these many positive comments around socializing with other people in other races that are not run these days. This is a comment that comes up a lot. On the message board actually where I asked this question, there were a lot of people saying that the Grand Disney races in California, in Disneyland, were a lot more worth it in their minds than the races in Orlando, Florida. I don't know why that is. They don't, they're not doing races in Disneyland in California anymore. So if you have run races in Disneyland and want to comment around why you think that is, people enjoy Disneyland races more than Disney World races, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And then there's there's a lot of people who only run Disney races, so there's no other point of comparison for those people, I guess, because that's the only race they run. But for those, the reason why they see the value in run Disney races is because they feel like they are not competitive races. And I would agree that that seems to be the case for most people. Now, you could be a fast runner and run this race super, super fast. When I was there in January at the beginning of 2022, I definitely saw a lot of people running this, the half marathon really, really fast. But for 90% of the runners who do run Disney races, that's not the case. They go to enjoy the experience and they don't plan on running these races super fast. So for what it's worth, if you are a competitive runner, you might have to sync signing up for Grand Disney race twice if you anticipate this being like any other race with that competitive edge of like running fast and trying to get your best time possible because there's a lot of runners who are just not into it to run this race fast. They want to be on the course as long as I think they can to take advantage of the pictures with the characters and pictures with the castle and pictures with the tower and all of that. 
So some people get extremely specific about their answers as to why Run Disney races are worth it. One person mentioned that just the sunrise in Epcot is worth the price of admission. So which I would tend to agree. I think running through Epcot when the sun is rising or running through the castle, depending on the race and where you are on the course, seeing the sunrise over Magic Kingdom on, the, on top of the castle, that's just like unbeatable. So as my friend Lynn put it, she has run a lot of these races. If you are not a Disney fan, they might not be a good fit for you. If you're not in love with that atmosphere, that lightheartedness of people running in costumes and stopping to get pictures with the characters. This might be just a one and done type of race, something that you want to do to cross off of your list. However, you might be surprised if you fall in love with the atmosphere of these races. That happened to me. I was going into it just thinking, okay, I'm just going to roll this off and I fell in love with them. I can't wait to open up my checkbook and sign up for another race. Leave me a comment below, guys. Let me know what you thought at first, if you did them, what you thought after your first race, if you immediately signed up for another one. Let me know as well if you have never run a Run Disney race. Leave a comment below. We want to answer any questions you might have. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Share with your friends. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, run fearless, you guys. Stuck in chains All this time with you I took the pain Knew that